My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is a creamy tortellini soup, and of course, I'll leave the recipe in the description box. I had to make some modifications based on what I have um, or had on hand. So I don't have any shallots in here, which is what the recipe called for, and I also don't have any carrots. So what I do have in my pot is a pound of hot Italian sausage that I cooked up with some onions and garlic. You just saw me add in some flour. So I am just um, giving this a good stir and letting some of that flour um, cook out. So the flour has cooked out and what you saw me add was just some plain water and I'm adding some chicken broth. I have a carton of chicken broth here. I didn't quite have enough um, chicken broth for the entire recipe so I added some plain water and then I'm going to add in some bouillon in just a second. And this is what I'm using, some better than bouillon and you have to keep it in the refrigerator. And so I've got some here, I'm just going to add it. And I am just going to let this come to a simmer and then I'm going to add in my tortellini. I have some baby kale that I'm going to add as well and then some half and half. Okay, so here is the soup. Howard and I tasted it. We just think it's okay. I did end up having to add some more um, bouillon because it just didn't have enough flavor to me, just the regular, not low sodium bouillon. And I, <laughs> that is Harrison in the background. And um, there is some great, well not grated, there is some shredded Parmesan cheese on top. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So I am trying out a new recipe today. It is called Cajun Jambalaya Pasta and it calls for chicken sauce, well actually chicken and dewy sausage and I happen to have this in my freezer. It's from Trader Joe's. We're gonna be trying it for the first time tonight. I've already cut it up into bite-sized pieces. And then you're supposed to add some bell pepper and onions and mine are frozen. I have this in my freezer. I wanna go ahead and use it. So let's get started. Okay, I've got my sausage and veggies all browned. What I added was some garlic and then I added some flour. So now I'm just adding in some chicken broth and the directions say let this simmer for just a few minutes, like three minutes. And you can either use chicken broth or white wine and of course I'm using chicken broth. So I'll be back. So it's been a few minutes. Now I'm adding in a can of petite diced tomatoes undrained. And I'm also getting ready to add in half and half and milk. And it says half a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. And I'm using this, slap your mama. I'm just doing a little sprinkle. And then it also says at this point to add in some hot sauce. I'm not gonna add in any hot sauce. I'll let Howard uh, add in his you know, additional hot sauce if he wants it. So I'm just gonna let this simmer, it says, for about five minutes. And next it says to add in 12 ounces of cooked pasta. I'm using vermicelli, which is thin, kind of like angel hair pasta. And gonna give it a good toss. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. Howard and I tried it and we both said it is really good. Um, I like the chicken, it has a nice little kick to it. I will tell you that the chicken sausage does have pork casing. Um, you know, we don't have any aversions to pork, but just FYI, I didn't realize that. Howard saw it on the uh, package. Um, one thing I will say is I think there's too much pasta. So it calls for 12 ounces of pasta. Next time I would probably just use half of that. Um, 
I just think it's a lot of pasta, so it kind of made it dry. And then on the side, I had some leftover hot dog buns. So I just put some butter and Parmesan cheese and popped it in the air fryer. So we're splitting a hot dog bun. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So we are having steak for dinner tonight and I decided to try something new. Normally I have baked potatoes um, with our steak, but I decided to try a new recipe for steakhouse scallop potatoes. So I have a nine by 13 pan and I sliced about two pounds of potatoes. I tried to get them as even as possible. And right now what I am pouring over the potatoes is heavy whipping cream, salt, pepper, and garlic. And now I'm going to add in some Swiss and Gruyere cheese. The recipe calls for, I think it just calls for Gruyere. Um, but in my freezer, I had some pre-shredded cheese and normally I would like to, you know, shred my own, but using what I have. So I'm sprinkling it on top. And what the directions say is to um, pop this in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes, stir it every 30, I'm sorry, every 10 minutes. And then at the end of that 30 minute period, you're supposed to add the rest of the cheese plus some Parmesan and cook it for an additional 15 minutes. So I'll be back. Okay, so the potatoes are finally done. It took forever. I had to bake these an additional 30 minutes. Next time, I think I would probably parboil them first and then bake them, but they do have a really good flavor. Um, so with the potatoes, I am serving some broccoli. I had some fresh broccoli in the fridge and I cooked it in this. This is just the top of the container of the butter, steakhouse butter, and I got it at Winco a while back ago. I didn't put anything else on the broccoli but this butter, and it is really good. It has a wonderful flavor. And then um, here are the steaks. So in my freezer, I had some beef steaks that my um, parents gave to Howard and I, they bought half a cow or something like that. So these are beef club steaks. And then I had a smaller package of beef round steak and it's boneless. So um, Howard used this to season these steaks and then I just added some teriyaki sauce to these. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So quick and easy dinner tonight. We are eating from our freezer. I have this in my freezer. It is from Aldi. I bought it a while back ago. So we've had it before and we liked it. So, and we're not big fish people. This is pretty good. Popped it in my air fryer and here it is on the plate. And we are having it with some canned corn. This corn is from Trader Joe's and it is really very good for canned corn. It is actually really sweet and crisp. It's absolutely delicious. And then we had some leftover scalloped potatoes from the other day and so we are having that. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having wings. I had some frozen wings in my freezer and that is what we are having. So we season them two different ways. This is lemon pepper and this is the seasoning that I use for it. Howard does not like lemon pepper at all. So these are all me. And then he is having jerk wings and we are using our favorite um, Walker's wood jerk seasoning. It's hot and spicy. It is really good. And then for the sides, I just made some green beans. I added in bacon and onions. And then we are just having some Kraft macaroni and cheese. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.